We are going to play some Final Fantasy 14. We got Crystal Tower. Hello, hello, hello. Hold on. I'm just gonna invite everybody who's here already. First people. Okay, hold on. So what do we need? One more healer and one more tank, but there's only one more invite spot. Wait, is this a 24 person group? 24 mans only need one tank. What? Sid, you're the only one of our number who has ever crossed this threshold. I ask that you take the lead for the present. I say, the energy radiating from these statues is palpable. Lucky for us, that is. One might otherwise stroll past them. Feast your eyes on the elemental defenses which prompted our lengthy preparations. These sentinels prevent would-be intruders from advancing to within 20 yams of the town's inner reaches. Happily, the crystal fangs we took such pains to craft should spare us the inconvenience of instantaneous annihilation. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Uh, Chief, it's, it's too dangerous to allow anyone to risk his life testing one? Quite right. I made the damn things. It's my job to see that they work. <laughs> Is that corny? It's <laughs> actually so cheesy. <laughs> I, for one, am convinced. Friends, ready your fangs. The last one is yours, old friend. It seemed only right. I suggest we wait here while S-Fan and a hand-picked party of his adventuring companions enter the tower. If the outside of the place is this well defended, can you imagine what awaits us on the inside? Only a true hero could reasonably hope to brave the hazards ahead and live to tell the tale. S-Fan here fits that description better than anyone I know. So, how do I do this? You plan on doing this minimum eye level? Yes. Minimum eye level, no echo. Let's, I think this is good. We can go ahead and recruit members. Oh, so people just join. Are we full? How can I, how can I see my whole raid? We need one more healer, three DPS? Okay, cool. I just woke up from a one-year coma uh, when I left that stand whenever playing anything about. What is this, witchcraft? What do you mean? A year ago, I was doing variety. No, a year ago, this was AQ launch. I was ranking. Never mind. Yeah, no, you're right. Wait, he actually did wake up from a one-year coma. He hasn't been here in exactly one month or one year and two days. And the first thing he does is come to watch my stream. Wow, amazing. Man, eye level, no echo, crystal tower, huge dongers. No, not dongers, that's, a, that's an old thing. Huge dicks, okay. Here we go, dude. Oh shit, here we go. Chatting, chatting, chatting. Okay. Oh, hold on. I gotta send a text textual message on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I dude, I'm getting pumped. I'm getting excited. Dude, I don't know what just happened. I just got freaking blasted with energy. Ready? Fix that UI. Man, this I got the best UI, dude. Okay, here it is, dude. Dude, you know what this looks like? This looks like a combination of old Iron Forge and On Carage put together. Like that's what it reminds me of. Okay, everybody stand here. Everybody stand right here, okay? Everybody has to stand right here before we go. Okay, listen up. This isn't going to be easy, okay? This isn't gonna be easy. Nobody has ever done this, but we are gonna go in here and we are gonna one-shot the Trials of Atlantis. What's this called? L-O-T-A. The Lord of the Ass. Okay, this is the Path of Decay. Hold, hold, hold. These are trash mobs. They want you to think that they're trash mobs, okay? These are the most dangerous mobs the world has ever seen before. We're gonna go ahead and pull. Brathgar is gonna pull in five seconds. Okay, just stack them and cleave. Yeah, just stack them and cleave. It's gonna be easy. I'm spamming Doom Spike. Is this even a good idea? I don't know. Okay. I'm dead. What? Where were the heels? <laughs> what the frick? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, here's a, here's a game plan. Don't stand in the purple. If you stand in the purple, you die. If you die in game, you die in real life. Oh, frick.
Wait, what? How'd I get hit? Wait, did I get hit by the AoE or was I in the purple? But that was, that was a really good attempt on the first boss, okay? How do I release? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it had been so long since I did that that I forgot you had to hold it. <laughs> okay, listen up, guys. Listen, listen, listen. I'm huge. <laughs> Why? Because I do big damage. Listen up. My head has been cut off. Okay, this is a this is a metaphor. That's how we did that pull. You have to you have to make sure that you stay cool, calm, collected, and you're of sound mind. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, you got this? Okay, now I'm gonna squat my way off, even though this, this is starting to hurt my knees. Ad hoc, ergo, propter hoc. What is this, the, the Matrix 2? Dude, AOE in this game is not like very good. Is, am I supposed to be in the, where am I supposed to be? What is, hey, what is this? I've seen this on multiple bosses, but I don't know. Do these guys have to die at the same time? Frick. Uh, did I get one shot there? I'm noticing I don't realize whenever I'm taking damage. I need a battle res. I was, uh, I was top damage. Uh, I don't, I don't see where I am. Okay, you know what? I just, just, just trust me. I, just trust me. I was top damage, probably. Okay, good job. That was really good. Uh, good job, everybody else, for following my example. This is the next part, okay? That was a good job killing the first boss of the dungeon. Okay, is this him? Is this the first boss? Hall of the Taint. Hall of the Tainted. Oh, frick. This is what we got going on here. We've got the Bone Dragon. Let me explain this fight to you. Because I know it like the back of my hand. Why? Because I've been playing this game for about 85 years. We are gonna engage this boss. It's very important. We have three groups. We have three full parties. We have an alliance together, 24 people. So what's gonna happen is we need to separate on three corners of the boss, triangle formation. Okay, group in the back, and then two groups will be DPSing from the sides at both angles. Next. What happens is at some point during the fight, he will spawn bone dragons, skeleton bone dragons. Yes, they're gonna explode and kill the entirety of the raid. They're going to catch fire, and then the ground will be engulfed in flames. That's exactly how this fight works. At some point in the fight, the ceiling will collapse. Whenever the ceiling collapses, everybody will get stunned. If we lose some people, we need to make sure to battle res them at that time. This next portion of the fight will be hacky sack. After that, that will take us into the execute phase, max damage, finish him off with the last 20% and we should be good. That's exactly how this fight goes. Thank you. Three hours, by the way. We only have like two hours left. Actually, for this raid, we don't have that much time left. Oh, he actually does spawn skeletons. I made up all those mechanics randomly. Oh, Tier three is 16 months. Storm Kamikaze, thank you, dude. Okay. What, okay. You look at the other screen, I think it's quite obvious why you died, huge red AOE. Yeah, but it would, the AOE hit the entire raid, like it was like a massive AOE. So there's something that activated that, right? Skeletons go to the dragon and explode if you don't kill them fast enough. You literally go, oh wait, really? That was real? I was joking. I made that up. It's actually funny that you're correct. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was just, I, I was just memeing. Okay. Wait, why? No, no, no! Don't kill them! Don't kill them here! Don't kill them here! Don't kill them there! Don't kill them there! Don't kill them there! So the ads are all around. I'm gonna go stand on this thing. Uh oh, there's that one spawned. Okay, so it's just the same thing? Is it just rinse and repeat? Brick! Medic! Thank you. We have to stop them from getting the boss. They're getting the boss. We're gonna get owned. Okay, I, I'm, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, okay. Brick! I, dude, I died to the tick of here. Okay. I think we made good progress. I think we understand it. I don't know what happened on the second set. We let a bunch of skeletons get to him. Hey, that, uh, we gotta get that skeleton away from here. So the faster we kill the bone dragon, the less skeletons we have to deal with in the first place. These guys are gonna spawn. We take damage now here. So let's kill this guy before he gets back. Good, okay, so this is how this works. What happens is it's just rinse and repeat that whole time. It's just really that one mechanic. Hey, we, we're, we have too many of these guys on the same platform, which means we will need more DPS on this platform to kill it. This guy is gonna spawn right here and, okay. 
Thank you. It's only a multiple go off. Yeah, yeah, but but my point being, brick. I literally just hit second wind. Okay. Oh my gosh, why is it so? It's so hard to target in this game. What are we doing? Oh, we killed it. Oh, we killed it. Wait, so how many? Okay, so how can you tell? Like, how many phases are there? Oh, so it's three every time. Oh, okay. Thanatos. Dude, I made a little no mage named Thanatos. Back like 15 years ago in vanilla. Thanatos, an ancient Greek religion and mythology, the personification of death. Oh. Guys, here he is, the mighty Thanatos. The former gnome mage. Yes, that's right. This guy was a gnome mage in World of WoW and he re-rolled. That's what he did. This guy's not gonna be easy. Okay, he's angry, he's pissed, he was neglected for over 15 years, and now he's back, and he's gonna destroy the world of fantasy. So, guys, this is how this boss fight works. He does a big AoE frontal cone cleave. That's what he does. He also will go second person on his threat meter. He's gonna give them a hateful strike. The next thing that we're gonna have is he's gonna have a mechanic where he comes in and he spawns clouds of lightning that will spawn throughout the arena. And whenever this happens, we just have to make sure that our ranged DPS is spread out equally across the entire area, okay? The third thing that we have to know about on this boss is he does, a, uh, he does an AOE silence chain lightning. And how, this, how you avoid this mechanic is by spreading out equally, that way the lightning won't chain to as many people as possible. So get approximately seven yards away from each other and we should be fine. That is exactly 100% the mechanics of this fight. Okay, ready? Let's go ahead and pull. Countdown eight. I waited for you. Oh, there it is. There's a chain lightning that I, what the frick is this? Okay. Existential uh, damage dealt is reduced, but can attack ghostly beings. Okay. So that means I need to attack. Do there any ghostly beings to attack? Okay. You go here. Disembowel. Oh, he's invulnerable. He's invulnerable. It's. Okay, still invulnerable. Okay, I understand. Oh, invulnerable. Brick! I got cleaved. I always die to cleave. Do we get it? Nice! Nice! Believers, congratulations! Look at that, wow, one shot. Guys, there's two bosses left in this raid. We have King Behemoth, and question mark, the bold. Brick! I got cleaved, I tried to run through him. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, the targeting this game. Oh, uh, what the? Okay, I think we did something wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so whenever he does that, okay, that's like the saffron bomb. Okay, I got it. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, run it back, run it back. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, there's a rock that spawned right here. Level 50 Comet, okay. He's gragging, he's gragging, he's gragging. Get behind the, get behind the rocks. Get behind the one that's far away from him because his hitbox seems to be covering that one and it's kind of freaking me out. Okay, the rock was way too close to him. Yeah. The rock was way too close to him. <laughs> okay. Hide, 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 hide. I dropped a comment in kind of a bad spot. We need a battle as a healer. Be hiding, you need to be hiding. Okay, don't get hit by those wind tunnels either. I just hit second wind. 7%, can I get a battle res? If we can afford it. Is this it? Almost everybody's dead. 1%, uh, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%. Oh, finally! Oh, finally! Finally we killed it! There we go, dude! 
Okay. So, this isn't gonna be easy, but this is the last boss, okay? We timed out, maybe, maybe we spent a little bit too much time going over raid mechanics, okay? But listen, we adapt, we persevere, we overcome. I thought we weren't even gonna be able to get back to this point today. I personally don't have much time. I gotta go soon. We got Phlegathon, okay? Which is, I, I mean, I don't even know what kind of name that is. If it was a Flemathon, I thought it would be like a marathon for smokers, but I don't even know what a Phlegathon is. So, he's going to drop iron claws that will drop from the sky. And what these do is these will pick you up like a, like a crane from And then what's gonna happen? Nim's gonna get scammed. No, that protected guy said mine. What is he saying? But after Nim gets scammed, he's gonna drop you into the lava. In the meantime, there's going to be a horde of ads that are gonna fly in. All the rest of the DPS have to make sure the ads are healed. Or killed, sorry. It's gonna be simple. We're gonna go in, we're gonna one-shot this boss, and then I gotta go, okay? Let's do this. Okay, countdown. This looks like a phone game. Dude, what kind of phone do you have? What the frick? Wait, what? How come? Okay, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm the only person who tried to avoid that. Why? Okay, Iron Giant. Okay, remember this? These Iron Giants have cleaves. Okay. Okay, so is it just rinse and repeat at this point? Oh, frick. Frick! I thought I was closer. That's my fault. Wow, I think we actually are gonna one-shot this. Uh, what the frick? Hmm? We got this? 2%? 1%? Hold? Oh, crap. He just did a ton of damage to everybody. Nice! Nice! Very good, dude. We actually did it in time. Good job, everybody. Very good. Sweet. Well, good stuff. Ice cream? Okay, chat. 